Hey everybody, this is Edger Joe and welcome to another video in my series on drawing using Turtle in Python. And as you can see, I've got some artwork that I just did a quick search on, on Google. And this is called the Van Doesburg um, artwork. Um, as you can see, it's made out of lots of shapes, squares and rectangles um, and so on. And um, sometimes, or most of the time, they've got these black lines sort of going around it, as you can see over there. Um, and so on, so there and there and whatever. So I'm going to show you one of the pieces of work that I did um, that sort of mimics uh, this type of artwork using Turtle and the instructions we learned so far in our series. So let me go and open my Van Doesburg and before I explain this code let me quickly run it so we can see what it looks like and um, Okay, you can also see <laughs> my other names. I use this at school, so that is okay. I am Edger Joe, so um, so if I just run it, and let's just see, I probably have to maximize it as well. I'll just, oh, I don't have to. So there you can see, there is my version of a Van Doesburg um, that I did, and um, which is quite cool. This is quite cool. As you can see, it sort of resembling, resembles the patterns and stuff we have over there. So uh, yeah, this is quite cool. It took me about probably around about two hours um, to do this maybe a little bit quicker um, because you have to work out the exact coordinates and everything for that shape and maybe then the next shape the next shape and so on and you have to work out the exact coordinates so I think what I did was if I remember correctly I drew um, the shapes then I filled it and then I filled all the shapes and then I, then I just went over it again with um, a thick uh, black pen I think it was a three or four maybe and so on so let me show you the code and then I'll run that again so if we go here you can see that I've made lots of rectangles with uh, iteration always start with that when you're using the turtle I set the speed the fastest my pen size is three pen up set position everything you learned in the previous um, video or the previous videos and then I put the pen down and there you can see this is my outer rectangle that I first draw and that's the code for it and then you can see that uh, then I go to my first rectangle so you can see I'm doing it step by step I'm not trying to do the whole artwork I just uh, went and I first did one rectangle then another rectangle and so on and as you can see I first did one that I filled and then I went over the exact same one just with a black pen uh, there you can see it's black and there's my purple rectangle and then I went on to my second rectangle over there and then there's a third one over there following the same um, same procedures every time I just carefully work out what my coordinates will be and uh, my fourth rectangle as you can see over there then my fifth one and so on and so on so that's six and then I get to my squares my seventh one is a square my eighth one is a square and my ninth and tenth will be triangles as you can see and again everything you've learned so far um, I've been using um, instead of trying to draw using iteration for a triangle I just used the, the set position and so on so if I uh, run it again let me just go all the way to the top and then I'll just run it again F5 and then you can see this is my version of a Van Doesburg artwork and there you can see I first fill the shapes and then I draw it that's cool that's cool and then also um, what I did was using the cell actually close this now let me just go and oh, I shouldn't have closed it so let me go and just open my idle again and then I'm gonna say file open and I wanna go to my turtle ones and I want my Middle Eastern so if I open that one let me run this one so I can show you this is my uh, Middle Eastern version of the artwork and uh, which is quite cool it sort of looks like a, a carpet or something of, of like Arabic or Islamic or whatever so um, that's quite a cool one but this whole shape this whole shape was drawn using the same commands that you guys have learned over the previous videos and they're just my range I just had to work out exactly what I want to do with my with my range um, and then I just repeated that four times and I did the same and went uh, inner you can see inside shape two um, and so on and so on so I hope you guys um, I'm just gonna run that again because it's quite cool 
I hope you guys will be inspired from, from these two pieces of artwork and see if you guys can do something that is even more intricate, intricate and uh, sort of creative and beautiful and whatever. So, um, and maybe share it, put it on my, um, you know, my comments and things and um, maybe we can show it and maybe I can show it off on, on my channel for you guys. So uh, thank you for this and if I do learn something new, some new um, instructions or commands, I will make another video. But for now I'm just going to stop this series over here and that should be enough for you to be as creative as you can be. So if you enjoyed this series, um, please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel and also um, follow me on Twitter. Thank you for watching.